last video, we discussed consumer rights. Um, and as a consumer in the United States, we have certain rights. You know, uh, businesses can't make us sick. Uh, they have to be honest with what they are advertising. They have to give us all kinds of information. Great. We have rights. Yay! We also have responsibilities. Um, with every right becomes great responsibilities or something like that. I'm pretty sure Spider-Man said it better. But anyway, we have responsibilities as consumers. Um, and you guys are going to write these down. There's only four, but they're big ones. And there's going to be a lot to write down. So make sure you have a uh, pen and paper ready or pencil. And you're going to bring these in so I can uh, review them. It's part of your homework. You were 50 points. Um, so let's get going. The rights, uh, responsibilities of consumers. The first one we have, we have a responsibility to be informed. The, in order in that, we have to gather as much information as you can about what you want to buy. Um, it's your responsibility to carefully analyze adver advertisements. Look at what they're saying. And really look at if what they're saying is what you want. You know, they may be flashy and a bunch of pops and zips and zaps, but really what is it? Um, uh, these pillow, pillow pets that are all over Cartoon Network, they look fun. <laughs> Yeah, it's a zebra and a pillow, but do I really need that zebra and a pillow? And if you think about it, probably not. Um, use comparison shopping with this, uh, within Be Informed. Use comparison shopping. That is, when you comparison shop, you are actually looking around. You are going on the internet, and you are saying, how much is this bread here? How much is this bread here? you got to save your money, man. And part of that, if it's possible, use a generic good. Um, you know, my wife and I, we love generic food. Um, we love generic clothes. You know, they're cheaper. You know, this shirt, this shirt is fine. Um, you know, it's all about being informed. So under and be informed, make sure you write down, gather as much information as you can, carefully analyze advertisements, use comparison shopping, and use buy generic goods if you can. Number two, handle problems appropriately. Uh, one of the rights that we have is the right to redress. Um, with that, it's your responsibility to make sure you do it appropriately. If something is broken, don't try to fix it yourself. The reason why you don't want to try to fix it yourself is if it's under warranty and you try to fix it yourself, you could potentially void the warranty. And not only will you not get your money back, you'll still have a broken dishwasher or something. Um, you know, I like to say that I think I'm a big tough guy. You know, woohoo, I'm big strong, I'm smart, I can fix things. If they're within warranty, I can't. I would hate to have to explain to my wife why we can't wash dishes or we can't wash clothes. So if it's within warranty, it's your job to try to fix it. Also, you contact the seller and try to set up a way to fix the problem. You don't go in what's known as both guns blazing and demand, 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 and just be completely irresponsible about it. Be fair. The seller wants to help you they don't want you to be angry but at the same time they don't want to deal with a crazy person so be honest and be respectful that is how to handle problems appropriately number three prioritize your wants uh, one of the vocabulary terms that uh, we're going to go through is disposable income uh, disposable income is everything left after you make pay all your bills um, yeah, I may really want a cool new car or an awesome video game, but if I haven't paid my rent, if I haven't paid my phone bill, if I haven't paid my electricity, that'll be bad because, yeah, I'll have an awesome new game, but I won't have a TV and power to play it on. So you have to prioritize your wants. Number three, prioritize your wants. Um, you know, we have choices. Do you want to pay your rent? Do you want to pay your food? Or do you want that new DVD player? You want that new Blu-ray? You know, it's up to you to decide. That's one of your responsibilities. Um, the last one, number four, avoid impulse buying. Um, I think I've told you guys a story about how we were at the grocery store and I had $20 for food. And I really wanted a Hot Wheel. And I threw that Hot Wheel on there. And our food was exactly $1 over. That was an impulse buy. And I had to take it back. All right? Um, impulse buying, you need to write this down. Impulse buying is unplanned, 
uncontrolled spending of your money. Um, often we regret these decisions. You know, you, you may want that candy bar. You're numbing on it and you're like, oh, shouldn't have bought that candy bar. So that's an impulse item. Um, let's talk about skills to avoid impulse buying. Uh, before you go shopping, make a list. Make a list and stick to it. Um, if you find yourself about to make an impulse buy, get away from it. Get away from it. I can't go down the tool aisle sometimes because I'm like, yes, I do need a new screwdriver. I do. Because I'll, I have to get away because I will buy it. So, And if you absolutely have to have an item, say, I really want that new screwdriver, go home, take some time, comparison shop, see if there's a better option out there. So, And then finally, if you find yourself doing a lot of impulse buying, pay with cash. Don't use credit cards. Your parents will be able to explain to you why you probably shouldn't use credit cards all the time. Uh, my wife and I really like using our debit card because that's tied directly to our bank account. Um, we don't use credit because it's easy to spend a lot of money and then you have to pay that money back. So avoid impulse buying. All right, so we went through the responsibilities of consumers. And I'm going to go through those again to make sure you have all four. And if you need to write down those things that I said within those, replay the video and then go back. And if you have any questions, go on the computer webs and uh, go on the Edmodo there and ask your friends. Uh, see if they have any questions too. That's what it's there for. All right. So uh, responsibility number one, be informed. Responsibility number two, handle problems appropriately. Don't be that crazy person. Number three, prioritize your wants. And number four, avoid impulse buying. Economic.